Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Today is all about hearts. I love hearts. I'm always wearing them. I love them in earrings. I love them on rings. I have patterns and prints with all kinds of hearts. I'm always doodling hearts. I just think it's such a great shape. So today we are going to be creating a bodice with a big heart on it, but we are not going to be appliquing this. We are going to be using the shape of the heart as our style line to eliminate the darts, but we're still going to get the shape in the intake that we need to have a nice fitting bodice through the bottom of the heart. Dart manipulation can be so fun and interesting. So follow along and I'm going to show you exactly how to create this heart shaped bodice. And as always, there's going to be lots of little tips and tricks throughout the way to make this an easy process for you. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is grab your sloper bodice so that way we can create our new bodice. If you don't have a sloper bodice, make sure you check out my video on how to create the bodice. There's also a video on taking all the measurements for creating it. There's also a video on fitting it so that way you end up with a perfect sloper bodice to do all this awesome pattern drafting with. So once you have that, we are ready to start designing. Even if you don't have a sloper bodice, this is such an interesting process that you're going to want to follow along and check it out and see how it turns out. So I've made this sketch so you can see what it's going to look like when we're done. So we're going to have a nice styled neckline and we're going to have a heart on the front of our chest and our darts that we're eliminating, we're eliminating those through the bottom of the heart here. So we're going to end up taking our sloper and tracing it out and doing a bunch of manipulations. And we're gonna end up with these two pieces over here. And these two pieces here end up making this really awesome bodice design. Now we're gonna get into pattern drafting. So grab your pencil, your two inch clear ruler, your paper scissors, and your French curve, and let's do it. The first thing we're gonna do is trace out our bodice and draw our style line. First thing we're gonna do is trace out our sloper. I'm using a sloper with no seam allowance on it. And I'm going to be using a Sharpie just so you can see it, but make sure you're always pattern drafting in pencil. Make sure you mark where your dart legs are and also mark your dart tip. Now, when we remove our bodice, you can see we have the little spots there for our dart. So we can go ahead and draw those in. And now we have transferred our front bodice. So now what we need to do is draw the heart shape. Where do we want the heart on our bodice? So you can make this heart any shape you want. So what I'm going to do is use my French curve here. And I'm going to draw the front of a heart. I'm going to make sure it touches the tip of the dart there. And then I'm going to blend right in to center front here. So now we can see I have drawn a heart on the front of my bodice. This here is my center front. So we'll put a little C up there. And now what I want to do is draw some more style lines. So we want some style lines for the neck. So I would like to bring over my neckline here. So that way we have a nice little style going on. So it's not all the way up to the neck. So I would like to, let's see, do we want to go over? Do we want to go up? Let's go right here. Let's blend down the strap. Okay. So we're going to be eliminating this piece here. And then I'd also like to make a strap on this. So I just want to make it a little narrower here. I'd like to make it two inches. So I'm going to draw a two inch mark there on the shoulder. And then I'm going to be using my French curve to blend. I also want to drop down my armhole about a half of an inch. And now I'm going to blend these two together. There we go. So right here we have the front of the bodice. We have the heart, we're eliminating this piece up here and we're going to be eliminating this piece here. But now we have the dart. How do we get rid of that dart and make this dart intake happen over here at the heart? Well, I'm gonna show you. 
First thing I need to do is cut out my bodice. So I can go ahead and cut this line here for the pieces that I'm going to be removing. Okay, so now we have our bodice here. It's all cut out, but now we gotta finish our style lines. So what we want to do is close up this dart essentially and move it over to here. So we are going to cut on the leg of the heart. We are also going to cut the left leg of the dart. Okay. So essentially what we're going to do is close this dart and shift it. So now we're going to close this dart. And now what we've done is opened it up over here. So we're going to tape this together. And now you can see that this is our new bodice shape. And then here's our heart. So all we need to do is finish cutting our heart from the bodice. Before I forget, what I'd like to do is add some little marks and notches for alignment points later. So I'm gonna go ahead, you can put these wherever you like. I'm gonna space them a quarter inch apart. And now these right here are my notches for when I'm sewing later, I will know where the curve on the heart needs to line up to. I'm also gonna put a notch right here where I know the neckline is gonna come into the heart as well. Okay, so you can see this shape, it's looking nice. We are almost there. So now you'll notice that we have a little bit of a rough corner there, just a little bit. So we are going to take our French curve and we are going to smooth that out. It is literally, geez, what is that? Not even a quarter, almost a quarter there that we're gonna end up cutting off. So just that little chunk there, just to smooth it out and make it look nice. There we go. So now we have the heart and now we have our bodice and that intake to create shape in the bodice is gonna happen when we end up sewing the heart here together and it's going to create our bust shape. So now what we need to do is retrace it out and add seam allowance. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you subscribe to Sew so Anastasia and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching and following along. Now let's get back to making that heart bodice. So when you're pattern drafting, you need to add different seam allowances to different places. So a rule of thumb is that curves are always a quarter of an inch along with necklines and everywhere else is a half of an inch. So we're going to be adding a quarter where the heart is and then we're going to be adding a quarter to the neck and then we're gonna put a half inch everywhere else. Now we're gonna retrace the entire pattern. Also go ahead and make sure you put the little spots for the notches. Excellent. Now that these are both traced out, we can add those seam allowances. Also mark your center front and your side seam. Now that I have the seam allowances all done, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out of the paper. Now our pattern draft of the front bodice is finished. Next, we're gonna cut it out of fabric and sew it up and test it out. I just love this fabric combo together. I think it is super fun and summery and makes me wanna have a picnic. So we're gonna make the heart out of the plaid. We're gonna make the rest of the bodice out of the yellow. Super fun fact, these are both hems that I cut off of vintage dresses that I am now upcycling and reusing into making a bodice. I think it'll be super fun and have the summer picnic vibe to it. The heart is going to be cut on fold. So you wanna make sure you're folding your fabric. When you're placing this on the fold, make sure it is directly on the fold because we don't wanna make this any bigger. Otherwise our heart will not fit into our bodice correctly. 
Or you could go ahead and trace out a full heart and just lay it flat on the fabric. That's gonna be the most accurate. I'm going to be using a rotary cutter so it's nice and smooth. Let's open up that heart and check it out. Ah, so cute. How fun is this top gonna be? This heart is looking super cute. I cannot wait to sew this up and wear it. Okay, now we are going to cut out the bodice and the bodice is going to be cut too. I'm actually upcycling some skirts here that I had hemmed into this bodice. I just love upcycling. So your front bodice is cut too, so you can get that right and left of the bodice. So make sure you're cutting out two of them. Ah! Rotary cutter just fell apart, crazy. Let's check out the bodice here with our heart. Let's get a little visual for what it's gonna look like. How fun is this going to be, you guys? I am obsessed. I love it, I love it, I love it. So now let's head over to the sewing machine and sew this up. So you can really see too where this pattern happened. So we got the heart here in the front, and then we have the shape here in the bodice that we're gonna end up sewing the heart to. And we're still getting a nice fitted shape in the bodice because we took that dart and we basically moved it and took the dart intake out right here on the heart. Now that it's all cut out, let's sew it up. Check out our heart bodice. It is looking awesome. I am just loving this. So now what we wanna do is place right sides together and we're gonna sew this up. And remember our seam allowance is going to be a quarter of an inch. So we are going to line these up, pin it, and then we are going to sew. Trickiest part is going to be getting around this curve. But to make sure that works out okay, go ahead and mark your notches. So I notched out the little spots in my pattern and now I can take the chalk and just put those marks right there. We're gonna flip it over and do the other side. There we go. And now we are going to mark the bodice. There we go. So now we know exactly where those little spots on the bodice need to line up. So let's grab our pins and pin it together. So we're gonna flip it right sides together. And the first thing I'm gonna do is line up those two notches and pin those together. So for this curve, you just wanna work your way slowly around this curve, lining up all of the edges. So you can really see the curve of the heart here taking shape. Now that we have one side pinned up, we are gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. Now that it's all pinned up, let's go over to the sewing machine and sew it up. So make sure you have your quarter inch guide lined up and let's go ahead and backstitch. Work your way all the way around this curve carefully. Make sure you take out your pins before you get to them. When you get to the end, backstitch and cut. Now let's sew up the other side. Now we have our heart in there. Look at how awesome our bodice looks. I just love it. It is so cute. It is such a great little heart shape in the middle of this bodice. And we don't have any darks in our bodice, or do we? The top of the heart is the style line. And then right when we get to the apex is where the intake of that dart happened through the style line of this heart here. 
So basically we are getting the same fit, but we're getting the fit through the heart. And that's the magic of pattern drafting. I love this super fun combination together so much, so I'm actually gonna end up turning this into a dress. So all I need to do is pattern draft it back, and then I can either gather some fabric to the waist, pleat it, or make a pencil skirt, or do whatever I like, really, and then I've got a dress. You could also use this bodice to just make it into a little cami or a tank, or you could do so many other things with it when you're designing. So next time you're designing with darts, keep this style in mind. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think of the pattern drafting videos or using the slopers to create new designs. Do you want to see more videos where I create original things from the slopers? Leave it down below, because I would love to know. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewy Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for following along. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok so that way you can catch all the action in the studio all week long. And don't forget, I teach sewing classes in the design studio. So if you're in Chicago, pop on in or travel on in and take some classes for a week. I also teach classes virtually and you can check that all out at sewingastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.